actually like the poem, I'll give you a copy of it. If you don't like it, just say, thanks, Pete. Thanks for the poem. I'd also like to say that, my goodness, did they do well with the Prosecco? I mean, I've been on the water since we sat down, and I'm still not quite right. <laughs> so do bear with me, because it's all a bit fuzzy. Um, I've entitled this poem, Real Life Serious Poem About Love, or True Love, The Perfect Way. And I would look at you, you're supposed to look at the person you're speaking to, but I can't do that. So I'm just going to read it, but I am looking at you in my heart. <laughs> and I might lean on you. But... <laughs> so here we go. It's of interest to note that when you meet, you'll find each other so terribly sweet. That fuzzy feeling, your heart a flutter, your mouth and words, they turn to butter. Over time, those things, they settle. You get some grit, you get some metal. You find out what each other's like. At this point, some say, on your bike. But there's one key thing that you two know. It's not a secret, but you can sow into each other heartfelt care. To some, this activity can be rare. You see, love's not actually that fuzzy feel, the way your words and thoughts congeal. That moment when your heart's a drum, it's beating right up in your thumb. But love is far more deeper still. I'll use these as my guide, that's you two, if you will. I suggest here from brother to brother that love is about preferring each other. It's not about what you can get, but what you give shows love. And yet so many people fail to find this gift of heart and gift of mind. So while I'm here, right here and now, I'll give a blessing to endow. One to take you throughout the years, to guard against unwanted tears, to help you grow and help you love, not just each other, but God above. A blessing to bring you joy and peace, to oil your marriage like premium grease, to show you that with each new day, there is a far superior way. One that breeds a truer love, one that's ordained from God above. Cheers, bro. Oh no, I've not finished. Oh, thank you, thank you. There's more. So I'm going to give you the blessing now. So, halfway clap. That's it. So here it is now, shout it out. Atheists, please don't cause a rout. <laughs> the Lord bless you in all, in all your ways to take you to your ending days, to guard you both in thought and mind, to keep you now for life entwined. Peace on your house, on your front door, and on your messy kitchen floor. Peace in the chamber of your delight. With adult things you do at night. <laughs> yes, that's it. You've got it right. <laughs> Peace in your work and in your rest. Peace at your worst and at your best. So now I'm coming into land. I'll pray you firmly in God's hand. Just so you know, he thinks you're splendid. His love for you is quite unended. So if you think you've missed the slot, remember, he's whitened every blot. Furthermore, to add to that, we'd like you to know just where we're at. We're here today because of you and all the things you've put us through. <laughs> but no need to mention any of that. That's yesterday's litter from the next door's cat. From all of us here now today, we wish you best in every way and say we're so happy now to see this beautiful pair in matrimony. So will you please now raise your glass, get up off your tidy <coughs> uh, chair, chair, and wish good health of joy of life to Dave and Megan, his marvellous wife. To Dave and Megan. Dave and Megan! Woo! I can now clap. Yeah! yeah.